okay, in this video, I'm going to be making a pumpkin protein shake. I made one this morning, and I've kind of tweaked it a little bit, but it was really good. Um, I just needed a little less liquid because it made a lot. So I'm making one for Joe for his snack, and I thought I would take this. I take the other one, but this one hopefully is a little more accurate. Um, I got this recipe um, first from Linda Farnsworth um, on bariatriceating.com. And then Amanda, um, she's on Facebook, she had posted about making a protein shake um, that was pumpkin flavored too. So what I did was I kind of combined these two and made my own. And what I'll do is I'll post the link to the bariatric eating one and I'll also type out what Amanda put in hers and then I will um, type out what I put in mine. And you can kind of mix and match as you like. Okay. First, um, and I'm just going to tell you my version, what I'm putting in it, but you'll see um, what they did, and you may want to change it up and um, follow one of those recipes um, if you like that better. Okay, first you're going to need uh, pumpkin pie spice, and you're going to need about, let's see, about a tea, half a teaspoon of this, and you can add a little more, a little less if you like, but a half a teaspoon was great, and then you'll need some to sprinkle on top. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can use um, cinnamon and cloves and, you know, the powdered ginger. You can do a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of ginger and cloves. But it's just better just to have this. It's easier and cheaper, if you ask me. So, that's the first ingredient. Next, you're going to need the pumpkin. And this is about a fourth of a cup. And it's just the pumpkin puree right here. And this is not the pumpkin pie filling, so just make sure you have just the pure pumpkin. That's it. Um, I went to two stores, and they said that there was a pumpkin shortage. Don't ask me. But I did find it at one place, and this is just the Libby's brand. And if for a half a cup, it is 40 calories. So that would be 20 calories for um, the fourth of a cup, but that's what the recipe calls for. So a fourth of a cup of pumpkin. And then next you're gonna need about a half a cup of water in your blender. Um, I put more this morning and it just made way too much. So I'm gonna put that and I'm also gonna put some ice right before I do it. Probably be, I would say about, um, I've, yeah, six, seven pieces between that and ten. However thick you like it, you add that. And I, I you can add some more a, after you blend it up because I did that this morning and it worked well. So start out with a half a cup of water. And then right here is light organic soy milk. And what I'm going to do is use a half a cup of that. And that worked very well. And this is the light vanilla. And I like it. I don't normally like um, vanilla soy milk. Um, in my iced coffee. Now, some places I do, but um, sometimes it changes the flavor uh, too much, but this is really good with this, um, this, I was going to say dessert, it's what it tastes like, this protein shape, because it gives it um, a little something. So, here is the stats on it. One cup, 80 calories, two grams of fat, seven grams of sugar, and seven protein. But you're going to only use a half a cup, so just half that, and this is the Publix GreenWise light vanilla soy milk and then you're going to need the whipped cream there for the top and i just have the one that i showed on my the cake video 365 real dairy light whipped cream and the stats on this uh two tablespoons 15 calories 1.5 grams of fat one carb no fiber one sugar and zero protein so that is for the top and then you're also going to need um, some sweetener, whatever sweetener that you prefer. I'm going to use the Pure Via. Let me bring this down where you can, well. And it's just the little sticks. I'm going to use three. Three worked very well this morning. And the, the recipe that Linda put up uh, calls for two to three tablespoons of Splenda. If you, um, if you do Splenda. Um, I don't, Amanda put agave nectar, I believe, maybe a teaspoon, but I'm going to do this just to save on the calories a little bit. And that is all of the ingredients here. 
And what I'm going to do is make the shake, um, and then I'll come back and show it to you so you don't have to listen to the blender um, roaring at you. So I'll be right back. Okay, leave it to me to forget to tell you to put the protein powder in a protein shake. Anyway, I'm going to put... Um, it calls for one scoop, but I'm going to do one and a half scoops, and that's what I do every morning or the mornings that I do drink a protein shake. So I did that this morning, and it worked really well. And just use vanilla or the plain I would recommend, or if you had something like a cinnamon flavor, but I wouldn't try any chocolate or anything like that. Um, but this is the Creamy Vanilla Extreme American Sports Nutrition, American Way. I've talked about this. Um, before and this is the it's um there's no artificial sweeteners nothing like that in there it just has the whey protein isolate um natural flavors natural sweetener fru fructose digestive enzymes blah, blah 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 okay anyway i've told you about that so i'm using this but you use the brand that you like um like i said preferably vanilla or the plain would work best now, I was going to show you, this is the scoop in mine, and I know I've probably shown this. It's a smaller scoop than the others, but it does have 20 grams of protein in that. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and then blend it up. Okay, there it is all finished. How delicious does that look? Looks just like a Starbucks drink or something. But that is it, and it has whipped cream on top. I put a little more than two tablespoons, but it's only 15 calories, and it's um, for Joe. Now, this is a 16-ounce uh, mug that I drink my tea out of. So it filled that up and plus left like that much. So it does make quite a bit. You can um, scale down the liquid a little bit more, maybe the water, scale it down, but still do the um, half a cup of soy milk I would recommend. But this is pumpkin protein shake. If you have any questions, just let me know. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. I will talk again soon. Bye-bye. Okay, this is for Joe. <laughs> tell us, take a drink and tell us how you like it. Tastes pretty good, mate. <laughs> what what does it like, taste like? Yeah, it tastes like pumpkins, yeah. Is it it's good or not? Joe, quit that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, you've heard it here. Enjoy.